What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, interesting thing that happened last night. Now, we've got the draft in a little over a week and a half. I can't wait to be there with my friends, and we're going to be bringing you the best draft coverage out there. Um, I know we're just YouTube, so we don't have the advantages of having the whole video truck and satellite uplink and everything else will be going guerrilla style but we will be giving you the realness of the draft now one thing you can say about the cowboys is is they like to get to know somebody before they um draft them and that's where your 30 uh visits come into uh a good predictor of players that they would be interested in one of those players, of course, is running back because we know at the moment we don't really have very many running backs, at least not proven, um, is uh, running back Trey Benson. Trey Benson with the Florida State Seminoles who uh, transferred from Oregon there uh, playing with uh, Florida State um, for two years is one of the top running backs in the draft. This is not extremely top-heavy with running backs. There's a lot of guys that are really good. And I don't see teams necessarily drafting running backs in the first round. Um, I see Benson going maybe in the second round, early second round. So there's that. Um, I don't think that he'll be there when the Cowboys pick at 56. But then again, you never know. But the Cowboys did bring him in. And I'm just going to play these highlights here of him of uh, florida state he is a good sized back he's six foot 216 pounds uh ran a four three four point three nine forty um this past year at florida state 158 carries um 905 yards 14 tds with a 5.3 yard average uh his um First year starting, he had 154 carries, 990 yards, so he's been consistent. I'm sorry, that's a 6.4, 5.8 and 6.4. I need my glass to have tons and tons of carries. He has speed, he has ability, he has size, and would definitely be a plus for the Cowboys, um, especially having young, fresh legs. Interestingly enough, um, there was a tweet that he retweeted um, for Martin Talks Cowboys, shout out to Martin Talk Cowboys, who ended up tweeting a picture of him uh, in Cowboys gear, um, and he, of course, retweeted it. Um, he's been to the Cowboys, he's seen the facilities, he's talked to the coach, he knows about them boys, and that would definitely be a great pickup uh, in a position of need for the Cowboys. The question becomes is, is that a possibility? I don't know, but it's interesting to see that he's done or to get out of town. Um, fortunately for the Cowboys, we don't have that situation uh, with CD or with Mike or Dak. Hmm. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, and you remember how ugly it got with Lamar Jackson last year, too. But anyway, um, there are going to be players out there that are going to be available. And I know Cowboy fans are still mad that we didn't do anything in free agency yet. But just just hold your horses, you know. Keep your powder dry. And let's see if the Cowboys do try and make some moves when it is more advantageous. You know, right now, um, Brandon Ayuk is looking and trying to get traded for. A lot of teams have already spent their money and already had their big targets. This is a case where when you think about, say, Des Bryant, when the Cowboys held on to Des Bryant for so long, that by the time Des Bryant became a free agent, that most people had already made their plans to um, get the guys that they wanted. They had already made their plans and their moves to get those guys, and it ended up being really difficult for him to get a place. And that's where the bargain basement shopping coming, comes in, as well as after the 1st of March, you don't lose your compensatory picks. I'm not trying to say the Cowboys are smart or anything like that. Uh, they're kind of annoying, to be quite honest, but we'll see. All right, good people. I'm going to go do a little bit of work before we have our live stream at 5 o'clock, and I hope to see you there. Peace.